Hi everyone, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the weekend of December 16th, 2022. Thank you guys for stopping by. If you're enjoying these videos, please hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. If you're seeking a personal reading, it is JackieTomlin.com. Okay, so a couple signs that may or may not resonate for you for the weekend. Scorpio and a Sagittarius. You are only unhappy when you allow those negative thoughts in, so don't allow that this weekend. You're also putting your foot down to someone that is using or taking advantage of you as well. This weekend is about moving forward. It is a weekend about getting what you want, what you desire. It's also a weekend of new money coming in and perhaps an outing or something that's leading up to total victory. Okay, so first card up for the weekend, we have the Seven of Wands. <clears throat> now, I think the Seven of Wands is like, actually, <clears throat> this is like the best energy in the deck. It says you've been doing the work on you. You've been spending some time with you, sorting out what you want, what you want to do. And it's starting to pay off this weekend. Okay. We have the Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Swords says you're surrounded by healing energy. Now, it's general reading for some of you. It could be a physical healing, but for the most of you, I think it is more of an emotional healing maybe you're healing from someone or a past situation you're ready to move forward and we have the king of swords okay now the king of swords tells me that you're dealing with someone um i usually don't associate gender i do associate this as an older man you're dealing with an older man this is someone that is sitting down i don't know i can see some deep conversations this is a man of wisdom and someone who's offering you up some advice okay and we have the Eight of Swords, the card of self-imposed restrictions. This means no one is holding yourself back but you. And the center of your reading is the Queen of Pentacles. Financial stability and Aquarius may or may not resonate here, but you're also, you're at peace with yourself. You're at peace with where you're at, and you're kind of looking out into the future to see what's coming next. Then we have the Nine of Wands, and there's that bajiggity card, okay? This says that you're like a cat on a hot tin roof. This is that scattered energy around you. You're excited, you're anxious, you're overwhelmed. Something is getting ready to transpire that has an excited energy to it, okay? And with that, we have the Page of Swords. Someone's watching you, okay? They could be watching you online. They might be watching your house. It's not like stalkerish, but someone is keeping their eye out on you. Could be dealing with a Taurus, doesn't have to be. And we have the tower card moment. You know, it's nothing to fear, but it is your anger. It is your temper. It may be you calling someone out, okay? Um, they come rushing in very quickly. They leave just as quickly, and it does indicate sudden change. <clears throat> I've never seen a tower card that led to something that, uh, worse than what you're dealing with. Four of Wands. This is the relationship card. For some of you, this is a marriage card, okay? So if you're in a relationship, you could actually be leveling up to the next step, uh, whether you're living together, commitment, uh, vows, something like that, okay? But if you're single, this is going to be significant, okay? Um, either way, it does look like these talks are coming from that older gentleman, the one that's offering you some advice. Things are moving forward. Everything I'm seeing here so far says that everything is moving forward. So let's go a, bit, a little bit further with this reading for you guys for the weekend. You have the moon. It's about divine timing this weekend, okay? That means things had to line up and fall into place for the next event to occur, and that's where you are, okay? You have the wheel of fortune. The wheel is finally turning in your favor. This is good luck and abundance. This is also a card of partnership. Could be in the love life and it could be in business. So apply that to where it resonates with you. Okay. And then we have the six of pentacles. Something coming in to restore your financial balance. Some of you are working over the weekend. Um, just getting some of your finances straight. Okay. And we have... Seven of Pentacles, working, gaining. Some of you do for a raise and or a promotion. And some of you may be looking for a second job or something coming in on, on that aspect as well. And the center of the reading, we have the Page of Pentacles, which is coming in as a good business deal. Um, 
could be a Capricorn energy that resonates with you here. For some of you, like I said, that are looking for that second job or whatever, that's going to be presented, okay? I'm not going to say it's going to be this particular weekend, but it is showing up in your reading, okay? And we have on that Nine of Wands is the Hangman. So not only is your energy scattered, you're feeling stuck. You feel like you're not moving forward, you're not moving backwards, there's just no movement around you right now that you're stuck. First of all, you're not stuck. This is Spirit asking you to be still, so the message that you need will come to you clearly. Okay, um, and I'm also seeing this problem here with a form of expression. Maybe there's some, some conversation you need to hold and you don't know how to hold it. Okay, so that comes through too. We have, yeah, definitely, because with that, we're looking at that five of cups that says you're overthinking and you're in your head. Remember at the beginning of the reading, I said you're only down if you allow negative thoughts in. You can bring your energy from here to here just by overthinking things. And on that tower card, there is the queen of swords. You're scared that someone's going to bite your head off. Going back to expression or conversation that needs to be had, you're scared to approach this person. Now, there is a power couple here at play. I want to throw that out there as well. And you may be dealing with a Virgo energy. But, you know... Sometimes the best way to get through something is to do that. Just get through it. You know, throw it out there. And on that Four of Wands, we have, again, the Queen of Pentacles. Could be dealing with a um, Aquarius energy, but this is definitely financial stability. Center of the reading bonus, we have the Ace of Swords. Reconnecting with and communicating with someone you haven't heard from in a while. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget JackieTowlin.com for personal readings, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.